Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today it's about synchronizing Bitwig Studio with a video file. And Bitwig Studio doesn't offer a video track, as you probably all know. And there are already some um, different solutions on the market you can use. For instance, Vidplay is an option. It's a VST plugin you can use to load in video files and then synchronize the video to your project. But I want to use TD Bitwig or Touch Designer uh, because it's the new kit on the block, right? So I want to use that. And also someone asked this under my uh, last video about Touch Designer. So first step is to make sure we are still have here under controllers, settings, controllers, the touch designer um, controller script running. It's enabled here. We have everything at default, which is nice. And this one then uh, creates an UDP server to communicate over OSC. So the whole synchronization between video and Bitwig Studio is basically happening over OSC. Uh, that's maybe important to know. So we can close this down here and then we head over to touch designer and in here we need to create at least, like I said in the last video, a Bitwig main node. We can drag this in here from the left side, TD Bitwig, right? Bitwig main, you drag this in, you can see we have already here one connection happening. It's already connected. Nice. Can change some settings here in the inspector if you want to but i leave everything as default here so now that we have this we need to drag in here a bitwig song object and this one is interesting because it gives us a lot of parameters about the current project of bitwig studio and one parameter in particular is interesting for us and that's here transport position seconds so if we move this up here and I switch back to Bitwig Studio, um, you can see here the playhead is at the moment at zero. If we switch here to 33, right, we get here position seconds, 90 seconds, 65, 180 seconds, 0.7 into the project. So this already gives us here the right offset in seconds we can use then for the video to head over to the right position. So that's the, the main idea about this. So we go back here to Touch Designer. All we have to do now is to drag in some kind of video file into Touch Designer, into the empty canvas here. So I go here to my uh, Explorer and just drag here an MP4 file into the empty space. And you can see it's already uh, playing here. And I think you can use um, all kinds of video formats. It's not really important what you use, but I use MP4 here. Um, so something you have to know is that um, videos are usually um, cons or consists of frames, right? You have multiple frames, one image after another image. And if you want to have high precision with your positioning, you probably need a video file with a lot of FPS with a lot of frames because sometimes if you switch to a certain second in your project in Bitwig Studio, you can sometimes end up in between frames, right? So if you don't have enough frames, maybe 15, uh, 50 um, FPS or so frames per second, um, then you can sometimes end up in between frames. So it's so you just heard it, right? I won't go into much detail into that, but sometimes you have uh, problems to position on certain frames. Okay, so um, so now that we have the video in here and it's playing, uh, we can select the node and can head over to the inspector here on the right side and can switch the play mode to specify index. So we can specify an index down here where the video is at the moment, right? So you can see here it's currently playing. And this one here is in frames. So the unit is frames. And we can select here instead of frames, we can select seconds. So this now is seconds. We can type in here, let's say 90 seconds, and it gives us basically the frames at exactly 90 seconds of this video. That's perfect because we have also from Bitwig here the position in seconds. So all we have to do now is to connect Bitwig uh, the output of Bitwig with the video file. We do this by using here a job called select. And we did this also in the last video, I think. 
Um, so we use a select, connect here all these parameters with select. And inside of the select here, we can now select or filter down to a certain uh, data point. And I want to use, um, let's say transport, transport, transport slash position, position seconds, right? So we want to filter down to just this one transport position seconds entry here. So now that we have this, we switch this here to uh, what's it called viewer active mode. Um, and we can drag this value out here with this small little triangle. So we have to select the video and then drag this, click and drag onto the index and then use chop reference. So now we have 90 seconds here from Bitwig and the player in the video is exactly at 90 seconds dot three five two, right? So if you switch back to Bitwig now, we can go to zero, go to 33, which is Groot, go to 65 here, which is some robot feed. 33 is Groot again, and in the beginning is zero, right? So it works as it's expected. You can switch around in your project in Bitwig Studio and then can see the um, accordingly the right frame to this position. You can hit your pause to play and then you can see the video is playing back. You can switch back here to 33. And then it switches back to the right frame and yeah. So you synchronize the video to the position in Bitwig Studio and it works really flawlessly. It's pretty much instant. As you can see here, you can switch around in the in the Bitwig project and it's very fast. So you don't have to wait for anything or something like that. It's, it's really nice to use. And um, yeah, the next question is probably how, yeah, how do I get this video out of the small little note, right? So the best thing you can do is to use here, uh, you may, I mean, you can use here this kind of display mode to have, it, to have it in the background of the canvas, but the better way of doing it would be to use here a new top and use out. That's how, it call, how it's called. Connect these two and then you have basically a, some kind of out node and you can switch the touch designer into this perform mode, which is just your window, right? Uh, and then use this window maybe on a different screen or uh, maybe use something like um, always on top. There are some uh, Windows applications, helper applications that always put the window on top of every other window. So don't switch this into the background when you select Bitwig Studio, right? Maybe I'll close this down here. Yeah. So now we can play it back here and use and see what's going on in the video. And like I said, yeah, it's pretty fast. On top of that, of course, because it's touch designer and not only just, you know, a, a video player, you can do all kinds of funny things. You can also, of course, here take, for instance, some modulation values like I showed you in the last video and then insert here some video effects and, um, do something on beat or you just insert here something like a mirror and then yeah let's say um, rotate 90 degrees something like this switch back to perform mode here and then everything is mirrored here in the background you can also offset then the video maybe on beat. But I won't, don't want to go into that with this video. Uh, maybe rewatch my other videos on Touch Designer. I describe how to do that in the, in the other video. Here I just want to give you basically the, um, the X. Yeah, an example of how you uh, synchronize video playback with Bitwig Studio. And like I said, it works flawlessly and it also works with the free version of Touch Designer. 
which doesn't cost anything. You can just head over to the website, download it and do exactly that. It's completely free to use. So that's also a cool thing to know. It doesn't cost anything. And you have some options, of course. Um, exporting this video then is maybe more of a problem. But I would say if you synchronize basically your project uh, to this video, you can just export here from Bitwig the audio file and then you can use the video in a video editor, maybe DaVinci Resolve or something like that. And then it should be completely in sync. So you can lay out basically the video file on top of the audio file in DaVinci and then everything is synchronized in place. That's then the final stage basically to finalize the video. Okay, so um, I think that's it for this video. If you like the video, like it, subscribe to the channel, uh, head over to the description and uh, click on all the links and so on. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video, probably tomorrow. Bye.